Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode. This is Capitero and today I'm going to show you how to terminate a thread in PyQt PySide because they are the same. As you may know, there are already some objects from Py or PyQt such as QRunnable and QTrade thread. Uh, those are threads that are running until they are stopped from inside because if you have a while it will never stop you cannot close it from outside it close so what we're gonna do we can work around that with our own thread first of all we're gonna have an app this is an app created by um, by qt qt designer and we convert it from ui to pi with this little function using pi uc uic and then we're gonna create our window it is a dialog with the UI data. We're gonna set up it, and then we're gonna use threads. Our thread will have a name. We can give it a name, a process, and an argument list. First of all, let's say that we have a function. Define func. We'll give x and y. Wait, print. So this will just sum up the x and y. We can create our own thread. Equals thread of name. Let's say sum with process func. An argument list of zero and one. One plus one. So this should say one plus one but not one equals two but not yet because we need to start the thread start and from this you see two one plus one but does it work with terminate yes it does we basically see we are we have this we're gonna while through print x plus y have a delay so we say slip of two seconds a second is enough and then we say tr Should see <laughs> it took a long it it did write a lot but you see that it was forced cl to close let's add a smaller value is really fast anyway we can see that some was forced to close there was no error but i do not recommend doing it this way because there are some problems with memory but if you really want to do it this is the code basically we give the name id and process and arguments run with the print so we know it's start starting Starting the process. This ID is the ID of our thread in the memory, and terminate will take the element and delete it from memory. And I hope that this video will help you guys as it did help me. And thank you for watching. See you next time.